Matt, first of all, welcome to Hershey. Your family's been here with you these last couple of days as you get a chance to check out the city. You, know, you played against the Bears before, but Gina coming into town now as a member of the Bears. What are your first impressions of being here in Chocolate Town in these last couple of days? Uh, I feel like my kids are going to eat a lot of chocolate this year, but uh, uh, it's been a great, uh, great trip uh, these last couple of days. Um, getting to know the area, get, uh, get a little comfortable. Uh, obviously, uh, a town that loves their hockey and their championships, and hopefully we can bring another one here. But it's uh, you know, a, a city that kind of reminds me a little bit of, of a Buffalo type, very blue collar, nice people. Um, so I, I think it's just exciting to come into a year with, uh, with a town like this behind the team and, and a team with, uh, that's had a lot of success in the past. You're coming up through the ranks in the Kings organization. You had a chance to play against the Bears with Manchester. Looking back to those days, what do you remember about playing in this building or being against Hershey as an opponent while well, now you're on the chalk on the white side? Uh, as an opponent, I remember we took a lot of losses <laughs> from Hershey. Uh, swept in the conference finals the one year. Um, but I always loved coming here and playing in this building. The, the crowd is electric and um, obviously the B-E-A-R-S chant, uh, <laughs> something that sticks in your head after you get scored on a bunch. Well, luckily you're not on this side of things. And <laughs> you had a chance this summer, I'm sure there are many opportunities for you after a couple of years in Ontario for the Buffalo organization. When you looked at your options, what made Hershey the right fit? What made it the most appealing option for you to continue your career and chase a championship? Well, I think the, I mean, in my life right now, the most important thing is, is family and my family and, and making sure they're comfortable. But in saying that, uh, you know, I want to win a championship. Uh, I have a brother-in-law with two, two Stanley Cups, a Conn Smythe, and another brother-in-law with a Calder championship. So I'm a little behind the eight ball. Um, but looking at Hershey, uh, you know, it's a team with so much history, uh, championships, and just a... A, a whole winning character about them so um, you know I wanted to to be somewhere where I had a chance to accomplish that goal and uh, this is definitely a place I thought uh, we had a great chance. Mike Stuthers in Ontario is a Bears legend Mr. Penley Minutes leader. He's, <laughs> he's still very well known and loved by many in this area and I know he raved about your leadership abilities and what you did coming in despite the situation you were in. Young group last year that kind of turned it around and made the playoffs a lot of those guys are back as a guy that's been there, done that, and accomplished a lot in your career, what do you look to as far as leadership qualities and who maybe did you learn from leadership-wise in your career that you'll utilize here in Chocolate Town? Uh, I mean, I think it's hard to pick uh, any one great leader that I, uh, I learned from. I think you, you see leaders in your career and um, I think kind of take little things from them. Uh, Stutz is you know, one of the best leaders I've, I've ever seen and one of the best coaches that I've had a chance to play for, uh, who also raved about Hershey to me when I was uh, talking to him about my decision. Um, you know, I told him I had a, a couple teams and mentioned Hershey was one of them. He's like, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta go there. So uh, he definitely raved about that. But I think, um, you know, I had a chance to play under him for the last two years and seeing the way he, he leads a team um, as, as a coach is, is something you look at. Um, think back to some of the best leaders I've played under. Doug Waite, uh, Rob Blake, uh, John Tavares was a tremendous leader. Um, Mark Streit, another great captain. So, I, I mean, I've had a lot of people. Those, aren't, those are some of the few I could think of on the top of my head. But uh, I think a person in my, in my position, a player in my position, uh, you have to help out guys that are just coming to the league. I, it, happened, it happened for me. Uh, you have older guys that have been through it. Maybe it's the day-to-day. -day, maybe it's things off the ice, on the ice. Maybe uh, a situation that you've seen before that maybe someone hasn't seen coming to pro or only been in pro for one or two years. So just making sure that you share what you've learned. I think that's how professional sports goes. You share what you've learned to, to younger guys and, and help them out.